I just finished uh, watching this movie. Pots of parents. Police. Oh, you better watch out. Uh, this is one of them, you know, er early 70s films that tries to show you the dangers of drugs and how you as a parent should react to it. It's a story about a young lad named Johnny who has a dog named Honeycomb and poor Honeycomb dies. In the morning? I thought you weren't leaving until next week. Oh God, oh no. Listen, Bobby, I can't talk now. of this Johnny becomes a quiet loner and he acts really really weird and his dad comes home because he's a traveling salesman but he doesn't give two shits about Johnny or the dog but seems more concerned about the fact that he buried him illegally in the backyard Mom, Dad, can I come in? Come in! Morning paper That does it. I might as well take a shower. But the dog is dead. Isn't so, Johnny decides to mope around the house and put up with his bitchy ass sister. She said, your father means Johnny hurts inside. Why? Because he loved Honeycomb. Well, I loved Honeycomb, but I don't hurt. That's because you're strong. Johnny's strong as me. Not Jimmy Dowdy. Not that kind of strong, Myrna. What kind of strong? Well, like when you want something and you can't have it and you cry. No, dear, when you don't cry. Johnny cry? No, I don't think so. I guess he's just thinking hard. Like Frank. Yes, that's right. A honeycomb. Yes, dear. You don't praise the dog. Dogs don't have a soul. It's a started rock collection, so he goes out to the forest to gather some rocks. When two hippies in a Sanford and Son type truck start to run him over. <laughs> Uh, he's okay. Johnny's okay. And then he follows the hippies for whatever reason. Meets up with them in a clearing and starts smoking weed and drinking wine with them. There's of uppers and no downers. Two hippies freak out, man. They don't know what to do, man. It's like, whoa. They drop him off at a uh, park bench thing in the city where a cop finds him. Uh, so, of course, they call the police, and the dad comes, picks him up, and the cop's like, oh, your son's doing dope and uh, all this other crap. And the dad's like, no, he's not. Oh, and actually, no, the dad's like, I'll kill him. Strangle, strangle, murder. 
Um, but the cops like, whoa, man, take it easy. It's the 70s. It's all smooth. Yeah. And then the dad's like, all right, fine. I'll just talk to him about it. But the kid's like, no, my bike's just missing. I fell and blah, blah, blah. So the next day, um, the next day, uh, he goes to the doctor and they're still like, what happened to the bike? You know, you're lying, Johnny. Where's the bike, Johnny? You're going to go to hell forever, Johnny. Oh. Um, but then the dad has to leave to go for, to leave again for his job. While that's happening, the hippies return the bike, and Johnny's like, oh, can I hang out with you guys? And the hippies are like, sure, man, dude. So he goes with them to their place, and but this time they just talk. And then these two uh, mescaline people show up, and then this freaks Johnny out, so he leaves. Uh, when he comes back home, he finds his parents are waiting for him, and the dad didn't go on his trip. Um, dad gets really pissed off at this point because <laughs> he tripped over the phone and just sent him over the edge. <laughs> well, I'll bet he'll be surprised. Look out! What happened? What happened? We tripped over this damn telephone cord. That's what happened. Are you all right? Am I all right? Who put this damn thing here? Johnny! Johnny! Don't yell, I'll go get him! Yell at him, I'll kill him! So Johnny makes up this lie saying that he does in fact have marijuana in the house and he's going to show him, show the parents where it's at. And he tells them it's in the basement. So they go down to the basement and... They either gave you or sold you marijuana. That's illegal! You smoked it. That's illegal. I want to know if there's any more of it around here. Please tell us, Johnny. You don't want to go to jail, do you? to go to jail. Well, you will if the police find any marijuana around here. You do have some, don't you, Johnny? Well, all right. Okay, now you just tell me where it is. I hid it in the cellar. Oh, Johnny. No, 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 no. No, it's okay. I said it was okay. There. It's better you told us. Now we can get rid of it. You're all right now, Beth. He's telling us the truth. Oh, there. Up over the Christmas tree light. I'll get a box or something. No, 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 that's all right. I think I can get it. Johnny? I can't seem to find them. Are they in a bag in here? Johnny? 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 What the hell was that? Johnny? Johnny? So now he's going off to warn the hippies that the police are coming because the dad called the police on them. And he goes there and they're all just stoned out of their fucking minds. They're just like, uh, uh, uh. And even that one main dude, um, is like, uh, 
like I'm a bird, woo! And then like all the other hippies are like, like screw you, man. The man's coming. We're gonna have to leave your ass. So then the main hippie here falls down the stairs, and Johnny's like, ah, <laughs> that's funny. But then he realizes he broke his neck, and then the cop shows up, and the dad shows up, and then Johnny's redeemed himself because he's actually a mixed up kid. And so that's just where it ends, really, with the dad trying to connect with the son. We don't know what happens to the hippies or what. So, lesson learned. When you don't let your dog die, or else you're gonna get tangled up with hippies and marijuana. I sure hope you've learned this lesson. Thank you and good night.